Hey everybody, Dustin here from Backcountry Cuisine, and today we're making tamale pie! So excited. I guess it could be in a lot of pie too. It's a lot of pie. So excited! All right, so what I've decided for this meal, because I've, I've never made this before and I'm not really following a recipe, I'm kind of making my own. So I'm gonna go a beef and bean. So I'm gonna go with a half a cup of beef in here. And then I think just a quarter cup of beans. Quarter cup of beans. I was thinking I want a little bit of onion in there. Sweet potato would also add a nice little sweet touch to it. Just a little under a quarter of a cup maybe. This is a pie. I want my pie to be kind of cakey. So I'm gonna use bread mix. So this is like, an, um, like a pancake baking mix. So I'm using Pamela's because it's gluten-free. Uh, my system does better without gluten. Bisquick, any of that kind of stuff would be fine. I'm gonna do that in a separate baggie because I'm going to first rehydrate my meat and my beans and everything in water. And then I'm going to add in the cake mix, because I don't want to cook the cake mix. I want to bake the cake mix. I'm going to put in a half a cup of this as well, and this. And then for my seasoning, I'm going to use this enchilada pack from, um, from McCormick. I'm going to make sure I don't do more than a quarter cup of this, of that. And I am going to put that into the bread mix. I could put it in the veggies and let it all rehydrate with that. I'm going to put a top layer of cheese on top. Yeah just a half cup of cheese as well. And then the last ingredient is Fritos. A quarter cup of Fritos. They're very dense in terms of calories. They're very dense in terms of flavor. So that'll be the last thing that I have for my enchilada pie. Uh, I've got my MSR WinPro 2. I really like it because it's a great simmering stove. And uh, this thing will make it a lot easier for me to, to get down to those low temperatures for baking that I need to. And then I'm using the uh, fry bake pan. And uh, this is a great pan, very, very durable, very tough pan. The first thing we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna wanna rehydrate the meat and the beans and the onions and the sweet potatoes, all that stuff. Empty the contents into my pan directly and get some water in there and just get it going. You can see how exacting I am on my measurements. Yeah, so basically what I try to do is I try to cover the food and maybe just a little bit extra. Sounds like we're boiling in there. I can see some steam, so let's check it out. Yep, sure enough, looking good in there. I'll turn it down a little bit and let it simmer up. And while I'm waiting for that, I'm gonna mix up my, my batter. Because this is kind of an all-purpose baking mix, I can put in enough water to make it into a kind of cake batter-ish. I don't want quite biscuit. I want a little bit more water than biscuit. Again, I just eyeball this. It's better to go with less water to start. Usually takes less than you think. And if you put too much water in, well, there's not much you can do about it. Because it's still, like it's gonna fall off the spoon, but just barely. So I want just a touch more water. Just a splash. Yeah, see that looks better. So now it's coming off, but it's pretty darn thick. So that's what I want. Let's check in on my beans. Beef's a little chewy. Beans are perfect. By the time it bakes, I think it'll be well rehydrated. This is way too much for just one person, so I'm just gonna put in a small handful of them. I just wanna get that, that tortilla flavor in there. Just get the Fritos so they're soft now. I didn't wanna cook them. If I, let, if I cooked them while I was rehydrating and everything else, they would have turned into total mush and they would have just disintegrated. Again, I want, there, ah, I want there to be a little bit of sauce, but not much, just a touch. Let's put the bread mix in. Now you really have two options here. Option one is to take this dough and just spread it across the top. It wouldn't be cornbread, but that kind of idea up on the top with the filling down below, it would be great. I'm gonna try mixing in. I just wanna see what happens. I think it'll be more casserole-like if I do this. Mm. 
well mixed. Flatten it out in the pan on the top. Goes the cheese. Cheese on top. Scorch Buster. This is just another layer between the bottom of my pan and the stove. So I want to slow down the heat from the bottom and try to concentrate as much as possible up on top. Don't grab it with your fingers because it's hot. Put that on there. Put my lid on. And because I'm fancy dancy, I could flip bake this. So I could bake it for a while, flip the whole thing over. But I'm going to try. I've been trying to work on creating one of these hoods that act as a dome over the top. This is made out of carbon felt and carbon felt does not burn. Welders use it, uh, not welders, uh, plumbers use it when they're soldering pipes. And uh, so what happens is that the heat comes up to the bottom, spreads out, hits the side of, because the, the felt is down below the bottom of the pan, and then um, it goes up and around and comes to the top. And so out at the top here, I'm getting nice, warm, hot air and I'm keeping it all around the side of the pot. So it's baking it from all sides. Now, it definitely is going to get the most heat at the bottom. That's why I put the Scorch Buster in there, that little uh, piece of pie pan in there to kind of slow the process down. But um, it will start to cook from the top as well. We're going to see how it works. All right, it has been about 15 minutes. And um, I can really smell it going now. No burn smell, but I can smell the Fritos. I can smell all the mm, goodness. So I think... We're really close, really tempted. You don't want to disturb it. Ideally, you don't want to disturb it, but I think it's ready. So I'm gonna go check it out. Oh, baby. Yeah. This looks done and it looks good. Look that, that. Will ya, will ya look at that? Is that not incredible? Whoa, it's tilting. I want to lose my dinner. I mean, that is just beauty in a pan right there. Golden goodness. Oh, what I don't know is how cooked it is on the inside, but we're going to check it out. All right, moment of truth. We got to dig into this thing and see how good it is in the center, right? It's going to be crispy on the outside. I'm pretty guaranteed on that one. But on the center, this is where we don't know. We got to go in there. Oh, yeah. No, it looks great, right? It looks nice and cooked up. If we look at the edges over here. It's a little bit more cooked up, maybe. I don't know. Looks about the same. Looking pretty good to me. <laughs> oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, mama, that's good. Oh, yeah. Tamale pie. Enchilada pie. Whatever you want to call it. Tastes more like enchilada pie. So I'm going to go enchilada pie. A little bit stuck to the bottom. Not bad. The fry bag pan is pretty good at not sticking. But it sticks a little bit. If I brought my metal spatula, no problem. It would have been easy. I forgot to bring it. Brought my plastic one. But this is great. I'm going to probably just eat it right out of the dish like this. Mm. Mm. McCormick, whatever. Spice packet. It's just the right amount. Quarter cup for all this. Yeah. It, I mean, I could use more. I could use more spice in here, but. The not so secret, secret ingredient in this. Definitely the Fritos. Man, Fritos, they really add a lot of flavor. You could use corn chips, just like tortilla chips. And they'd be fine, but Fritos, the next level. Mm, 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 mm. All right, well, super awesome. I love it. It's great. Um, helps to have one of these. I'll make a video maybe one day about how to make these because uh, you can't buy them anymore. They're from the Outback oven, and they were pretty cool, but I can't find them anywhere. On to the DIY land for it. The other thing I like about Carbon Felt is it doubles as a pot cozy. So... While I still have light, I wanted to go and set my tent up. So I did that, <clears throat> threw it in the pot cozy, put the lid on. I have another piece of Reflectix pot cozy material. I put that on top. It all stayed nice and warm in there. So pot cozy and baking machine. Pretty good. But until then, take care, eat well, and come check us out at backcountrycuisine.net. And if you like the video, give me a thumbs up or subscribe or Leave me a comment and I'll comment you back because I'm that kind of guy. I comment back. I do. Usually. Sometimes it takes me a while. Hey, I'm busy. I'm backpacking. See y'all.